All his life, Pablo Escobar was impossible to catch. The Americans knew this for a fact, and so did the Colombians. How on earth was he caught so easily, after evading more than a decade? Most importantly, who betrayed the king of cocaine? In this video, I will use evidence from the son of Escobar himself to point out inconsistencies surrounding Escobar's terrible death. As you know from the official version of what happened was that Pablo Escobar was shot by the police while trying to escape. Well, we have more than one official version. If you ask the North Americans, they will tell you, we are the ones who killed Pablo Escobar. And if you ask the Colombian police, they will tell you, we were the ones. Till today, everyone claimed they killed Pablo Escobar. And that one can make it difficult to trust the government official account of Pablo's death. According to Maria Victoria Hanau, she met the love of her life when she was just 12 years old. She described the 23-year-old man as affectionate, sweet, and a gentleman. In March 1976, at the age of 26, Escobar married Maria Victoria, who was 15 years old. Together, they had two children, a boy known as Juan Pablo, now known as Sebastian Maroquin, and a girl named Manuela. Escobar might have had lovers outside his marriage, but he only had one wife and only recognized the children she had for him. He loved them that he poured his soul to whatever family time he could squeeze for his son. It was until Pablo Escobar meant a terrible error of hunting down a public official, Pablo blew up a plane with 110 innocent passengers. Unfortunately for him, two Americans were also on board and this gave American government to intervene in Pablo's capture a period of extreme danger. Pablo Escobar traitor is revealed. According to Pablo's Escobar's son on that fateful day, his father kept on calling even when I hang up. He was calling and calling, and that's why I understood he was willing to get killed. Pablo Escobar planned his death, at least according to his son, Sebastian Maroquin, and other family members. The phones were tapped, but Pablo meant a foolish move by calling his son, his son hung up to protect him, but he kept on calling and calling. At this point, the search block at Los Pepes articulated his location. He was at Medline in his aunt's house. He had been there for some days and had spent his birthday with his aunt and his bodyguard, Lyman. Now that the government knew where he was, they would expect him to run, not Pablo. Instead, the man sat and waited. He went to an open window and undercover member of search block spotted him. At this moment, he wanted to be spotted because he had only two choices. He could either betray his family and live or betray himself, giving his family a second chance at life. Running through the rooftops, it was certain he would meet his death. According to official reports, Pablo Escobar was found dead with a bullet wound through his right ear.